Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next, we'll stand up and push in our chairs to do our stretch sequence. Let's begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then, let's go down low. Touch our toes. Now we can go back up high, and this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave. Wave side to side. And then, let's go down to touch our toes. Now we'll stand up. Stretch it out, guys. Shake it out. Arms and legs. Now for some rotations. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent. Next, we'll take our right hand and we'll touch our left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. And the final couple now. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Excellent, guys. And to finish, we'll do five claps. Brilliant, guys. Have a seat. So recently, in English class, we've been learning about the type of tense that we use to describe past events. Now, does anybody remember what we call that tense? Past simple. Yes, we've been learning about the past simple. So let's write that on the board first, guys. Past, P-A-S-T. And then simple, S-I-M-P-L-E. Excellent, guys. Past simple. That's the tense that we use to describe actions or events that have happened already. 
And when we were talking about actions, we were learning about verb words. Now, first of all, we learned about the normal verb words, the ones where we can use spelling rules. But then we began learning about the non-normal verb words, where we have to learn how to change the word. Does anybody remember what we call non-normal verb words? Not regular, they are irregular. Irregular verbs. I, R, R, E, G, U, L, A, R. And verbs, B, E, R, B, S. So all together, guys, we've got past simple, irregular verbs. Yes. And in the previous lesson, we learned about two different types of sentences. We learned how to say sentences for things that have happened, which we call positive. Positive sentences describe things that have happened. P O S I T I V E. Positive is something that has happened. But for things that have not happened or did not happen, we use negative sentences. N E G A T I V E. Positive and negative. So, I will give an example of a positive sentence using irregular verbs in the past simple tense. I bought B O U G H T a new book B O O K and a time in the past tense such as yesterday. Why E-S-T-E-R-D-A-Y So all together guys, I bought a new book yesterday. Now notice how I've had to use the past tense irregular verb. Can't say buy, we have to say bought. And this is the positive statement. Now who can help me? Who can remember? how we turn the positive statement into the negative. Who remembers the contraction? But I didn't. Excellent. Well done, Prel. So we can say I, I, D, N, apostrophe, T. Now, the good thing about negative statements is that we don't have to use the past tense verb word of the irregular form. We can just say I didn't. By. You see, for positive, ought. For negative, didn't, and then buy. And what didn't I buy, guys? A new book yesterday. B O O K yesterday. So altogether, positive, I bought. A new book yesterday. Negative, I didn't buy a new book yesterday. Excellent. Well remembered, guys. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask my students to close their eyes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to write another positive sentence using an irregular past simple verb and have a student come forward and correctly demonstrate how to turn that into a negative sentence. Okay, and now we have our sentence on the board. Now we have a student with a pen. 
Pak Bung, can you come and join me at the front of class, please? Excellent. So first of all, guys, let's read our positive sentence together. The boy, the boy ate, ate an, apple an apple this morning. This morning. Now notice the past tense form of eat, ate. But what we're going to do now is we're going to ask Pak Bung to turn this sentence into the negative form. So Pak Bung, take it away. First of all, we need the boy. The boy. And then what's our contraction, guys? The boy didn't. D-I-D-N apostrophe T. And then our normal verb word. Eat. Perfect. And what didn't he eat? An apple. A P P L E. This morning. T H I S. And then morning. M O R N I N. G. Pak Bung, that's perfect. So one more time, the positive sentence, the boy, the boy ate, ate an, apple an apple this morning. This morning. And the negative form, the boy, the boy didn't, eat didn't eat an apple, an apple this, morning. this morning. So remember, negative sentence, use the contraction eat, before the regular verb word. And Pak Bung, that was brilliant. High five, big round of applause for Pak Bung, guys. Okay, so now close our eyes again. Pak Bung, you can relax. Everybody else, close your eyes. Okay, and now we've got our sentence and we have our student. So, Pat, come and join me at the front of class, please. Okay, excellent. So, first of all, guys, let's all read our positive sentence together. We saw a shooting star last year. Positive. We saw a shooting star last year. And now Pat will demonstrate how to turn the positive sentence into its negative form. So Pat, take it away. First of all, we, we and then our contraction, didn't. D, I, D, N, apostrophe, T. We didn't, and then the original or the base form of the verb saw, see, S-E-E. -E. We didn't see a shooting star, S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G, shooting star, S T. A R. Well done. Last year. A S T Y E A R. Perfect. Well done, Pat. So the positive sentence: We saw a shooting star last year past tense form of the irregular verb. But when we change it to negative, we didn't see a shooting star last year. The contraction didn't, which is did and not, squeezed together with the original base form of the verb word. 
And Pat, that was brilliant. Well done. Big round of applause for Pat, guys. So now we've learned about the positive sentences and also the negative forms. Today, we're going to move on and think of the third form that we need to practice. What do we need to ask, guys, when we want to know something? What do we need to ask? If we want to know something, what? Excellent, Prao. Yes, we need to learn and practice how we can ask questions. We've got our positive answers or sentences. We have our negative ones too. So now we're going to move on and look at a PowerPoint presentation so that we can practice asking questions in the past simple tense with irregular verbs. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, past simple, past simple. Irregular, verbs irregular verbs with questions. So today we'll learn how to ask the questions. For questions, in the past tense, we use the base form of the verb word. Yes, what this means is the original verb word, its base form. For positive answers, we use the past tense verb word like we've been practicing earlier guys in the positive sense we have to use the past tense verb but for negative answers we use didn't with the base verb word yes that's what we've learned so far positive and negative but now, let's look at the questions. You'll see the word that we use at the start of every question is the question word. And here, we have did. Did the girl buy a new book yesterday? So you can notice that we use the base form of the verb in the question too. Buy. Buy. But for positive answers, we have to revert to the past tense. Yes, the girl bought a new book yesterday. And for negative answers, no. The girl didn't buy a new book yesterday you see the contraction didn't with the original verb word by so for questions and negative responses in the past simple tense we can use the original verb word did the boy eat an apple this morning so the positive response yes the boy ate an apple this morning. You see, past tense verb word, ate, for the positive response. But the negative, no. The boy didn't eat an apple this morning. The question, did we go to the football match last week. So you can see the question form, did the original verb word go? And what does every question end with, guys? If we write a question, we end it with question mark. Did we go to the football match last week? And the positive answer, yes, we went to the football match 
last week. So the negative response will always use the original verb word. But you see the positive response has to use the past tense form. The past tense form of go, went. And the negative response, no. no. We didn't go to the football match last week. Did they hear the birds singing last week? So what do you think, guys? The positive response, yes. They heard the bird singing last week. The past tense of the verb word here, heard. And the negative response, no. They didn't hear the bird singing last week. And the question at school, did you learn new words in English class today? So what do we think the positive response will be, guys? What does the positive response always begin with? Yes. You learned new words in English class today. And the negative response, no. You didn't learn new words in English class today. Another question, did we make clay models in school yesterday? And the positive response always begins with yes. Yes, we made clay models in school yesterday. So you see how we have to use the past tense verb word for every positive response. The past tense of make, made. But if we say the negative response, we can use the normal verb word. No, we didn't make clay models in school yesterday. Now how about this question? Did I see a shooting star in the sky last year? And the positive response will be, yes, I saw a shooting star in the sky last year. And that's true. Has anybody ever seen a shooting star? You see the stars that go like this and they flash very quickly across the sky. Last year, I saw one. But the negative response, no. I didn't see a shooting star in the sky last year. Excellent, guys. Well spoken. And our final one, did we think it would rain last night? Yes, we thought it would rain last night. And the negative response, no. We didn't think it would rain last night. So remember guys, past simple tense, questions and negative responses, original verb word. But the positive response, we need to change the verb word to its past tense form. Any more questions?
Okay, well done guys. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed looking at the PowerPoint presentation to develop an understanding of asking questions in the past simple tense with irregular verbs. But it's important to remember for the question and the negative response, we can use the base form of the verb word, the original word. It's the positive responses that we need to revert to the past tense form of the irregular verb. So that's good to remember. And now guys, it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this, we'll play a game of teacher says. So listen carefully guys. The teacher says we can do. The teacher doesn't say, don't do. So, hands on head. Touch your knees. Hands on shoulders. Teacher says, hands in the air. Hands down. <laughs> Teacher says, hands down. Hands up. Hands down. Well, listen, guys. Teacher says, hands on head. Teacher says, one hand on stomach, one hand on head. Teacher says, pat head. And teacher says, rub stomach. Teacher says, swap. Swap. <laughs> teacher says, stop. Teacher says, touch your toes. Teacher says, stand up straight. Teacher says, turn around. And teacher says, turn back the other way. And back the other way. <laughs> and teacher says, down into a little ball. Five, four, three, two, one, jump. <laughs> teacher says, jump. Excellent, guys. Teacher says, sit down. And teacher says, it's now time for our flashcards exercise. So what we need to do, teachers, is to print off the flash sheets for this lesson. And what you'll have to do is cut out each of the sentences that are questions into individual questions. And then cut all of the words into individual words too. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to do an exercise of putting our students into teams and have them practice how to construct the sentence words into the correct sequence. So first of all, we need some teams. I have nine students, so we'll have four different teams. We'll have Lakgao and Bangpon. Now, team number two will be Pak Bung and Down. Team number three is Net and Nadia. And team number four has three people, and that's Pat, Preo, and Chu. So what we'll do is we'll give each team a jumbled up question to sort. But remember guys, have to wait until everybody's ready, and then you can touch your words. So team number one, here's your question, but not yet, not yet. Team number two. Team number two, here's your question, but no touching yet. Okay, let's wait guys, two more teams. Team number three. You're welcome. And now, team number four. Okay. So every team has their sentences. Now listen guys, I'm gonna give you a tip. Sentences or questions in the past simple tense all begin with did. And what's the, what should be at the end of every question? Question mark. So look for the question mark and you know that goes at the end and the word did goes at the beginning. Are you ready? Team one? Team two? Team three? Team four? Go. So remember, did. Okay. So the first words of the question, did, like we've seen in the PowerPoint. And then 
The final is the question mark. The group this Remember the question. Okay. This the group my new group. Yes, today. Excellent. Very well done. Did you not ready? Did you learn new words in English class today? Excellent. Team four. Last year. Excellent. <laughs> Did the boy Okay, how about now? Did the boy eat an apple? This morning. Excellent. So remember, did is the first word and the question mark comes at the end. So well done, guys. Now collect your questions and pass them to the team on your left. So Prel, I'll take yours. <laughs> and place them here. Okay. So not yet. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Team one, are you ready? Team two, are you ready? Team three, are you ready? Team four, are you ready? Now teachers, you can pause the video and you can see what we're doing in our class now. So you can pause the video and play on with your students for around 10 minutes or so. And remember, each time to change the question so that each team gets to practice differently. And when they're done, you can have them practice speaking together. So team one, Ready? Team two, ready? Team three, ready? Team four, ready. go. So remember the first word, did, and the final thing, the question mark. Excellent. I see. A shooting star last year? Question mark. Bang one. Excellent. Well done. Is Learn new English words in class today? Question mark. Okay, very good. Did the girl buy a new book yesterday? Excellent, guys. And team four? Did the boy eat an apple this morning? Excellent, guys. Everyone correct. So collect your questions and then we'll pass them to the team to our left. So, Prel, I'll take your one. So team one has a new question. Team two? Okay. Team two, almost ready. Team three, are you ready? Team four, are you ready? Ready. Go. Perfect. This morning, not morning this, this morning. Excellent, guys, well done. This I see a shooting star last year. 
Perfect, guys. Read the girl by a new book yesterday. Question mark. Question mark. But we don't have to say question mark, only when we write it. Okay. Okay. Ready, guys? Did you learn new English words in class today? Nadia, excellent. Ned, well done. Okay, and now let's take our sentences or questions and pass them to the team to our left. Team one, are you ready? Team two? Team three? Team four? Ready. Go. Somebody's missing a question mark. Who needs a question mark? There's a question mark on the floor. This boy is an apple this morning. By a new book yesterday. yesterday. Well done, guys. Did you learn a new word in English class today? Perfect. Did I see a shooting star? last year. Brilliant, guys. Excellent. Guys, that was excellent. Very well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the flashcard exercise where they had to learn how to construct sentences, questions in the past simple tense form. And what we've got now, we've got a worksheet exercise. So teachers, give each of the students in your class their own worksheet. And what our students need to do is they need to read each of the questions in the past simple tense. Then looking at the next word, provide the correct response. Remember guys, if it's yes, yes means it's a positive sentence. So we need to use the past tense verb word for the yes responses. But if it's no, we use the contraction didn't with the original verb word. So give our students around 10 minutes for this exercise. And what do we need to do first, guys, on top? Write your name on top. Write our names on top. And teachers just monitor the class and help students with anything they need. So, Chu, that one's for you. You're welcome. Thank you. Pat, you're welcome. Nadia, for you. you. Net, for you. Thank you. Down, for you. You're welcome. Pak Bung for you. Thank you. Bang Pon for you. And Lakau for you. So guys, read the questions. And then look at the next word. The first word of the response is already there. If it's yes, we need to give a positive response. If it's no, we have to give the negative response, like we've seen in the PowerPoint presentation. So the first one, a shooting star last year. So yes, they saw. Remember, for the positive responses, we have to change C to the past tense. W, yes, they saw a shooting star last year. Yes, they saw. Saw, S-A-W. Past tense of C, saw, S-A-W. You see? Saw a shooting star last year. For positive responses, remember guys, 
we have to use the past tense of the verb. Yes, they saw shooting star last year. Not for the responses. We only need question marks for the questions. When we provide the response, no need for the question mark. And then the next one, number two, did the boy eat an apple this morning? No. No. The boy didn't eat. Eat. The boy didn't eat an apple this morning. Eat, E-A-T. Yes, the negative responses, the verb is the same as the question. It's only the positive responses, yes, So did the boy eat an apple this morning? No, the boy didn't eat an apple this morning. Remember, for the negative responses, the contraction didn't. The boy didn't eat. The boy didn't eat. For the negative response, Dan, keep the verb word the same as the question. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to read the questions and then provide the correct responses based on yes or no at the start of the answers. And my students all did a great job and we'll just practice speaking one final time now. So first of all, a question, guys. Did they say... A shooting, star a shooting star last year. Last year. Yes. yes, they saw, they saw a, shooting a shooting star last year. Last year. Did, the boy Did the boy eat an apple, eat an apple this, morning? this morning? No, no. the boy didn't eat, the boy didn't eat an, apple an apple this morning. This did we, go Did we go to the football match, the football match. Last, week? last week? No, no. We, didn't we didn't go to the football match, the football match. Last, week. last week. Number four. Did they hear, Did they hear the, bird the bird singing last week? Last week. Yes. yes, they heard. The bird, the bird singing last week. Last week. Did, we Did we learn new words, new words in, English in English class today? today. Yes. yes, we learned, we learned new, words new words in English class today. In English class today. Did, we make Did we make clay models? In school, in school yesterday. No, no. We, didn't we didn't make clay models, clay models. In, school in school yesterday. And finally, did the girl, did the girl buy, a book buy a book yesterday? yesterday. Yes. Yes. yes, the girl bought, the girl bought. A, new a new book yesterday. Guys, that was excellent. Very well done. And that brings us to the end of today's lesson. So we hope now you understand more about asking questions in the past simple tense. Questions always involve the original verb word, as do the negative responses. It's only the positive responses where we need to use the past tense form of the verb. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again soon.